Hello dear children, today we are going to uh, continue with uh, class 9 science uh, and uh, this is our channel amazing world of science where we do line to line NCRT from classes 8 to 12 focusing more on uh, class 10 and uh, class 12 along with that we are also doing classes 9, 11 and also class 8. So, in our last uh, session for class 9 NCRT chemistry we had finished colloid suspensions and all that and uh, uh, so I had said that in our next session we will be doing separating the components of a mixture. This is a very important topic and really useful you have to focus well and uh, only if you are thorough with the concepts then you will be able to identify which method you can uh, use for uh, the separation of components of a mixture ok now we will start our session for today. So, first of all you have learned that most of the natural substances they are not chemically pure ok. So, because of that we use different methods of separations to get individual components from a mixture. So, separation why is it necessary? So, only uh, due to the method of separation we can study and use the individual uh, components of a mixture. So, you know in a mixture there will be different particles or components. So, we will be able to identify and study about them only if you can uh, separate it individually. So, already we have learned that heterogeneous mixtures are separated into the components by physical methods like hand picking, sieving, filtration which we use in our day to day life and in not, this is not possible in all cases. So, we have to use special techniques to separate the components of a mixture. Uh, so, last class we had discuss, discussed about filtration and all these things. So, uh, how can you do that? We will first uh, uh, take this case where how can you obtain colored component or dye from blue black ink. For that we have to do one small activity. You take a beaker, fill half of the beaker with water and now you have to put a watch glass on the mouth of the beaker see it is given in the figure here. After that you put a few ink drops on the watch glass over here then slowly you start heating the beaker and uh, sh you should not heat the beaker directly. So, that uh, what happens is that when you start heating it you can see evaporation vapors are coming out from the watch glass ok and uh, you keep on heating uh, and uh, now the evaporation keeps going on and uh, when uh, then stop heating when you do not see any further change on the watch glass till that point you have to keep on heating. Now, you observe carefully and we will see what happens ok. Now, what do you think has got evaporated from the watch glass and is there any residue on the watch glass and what is your interpretation or what do you think about this and uh, what is ink is it a single substance pure or is it a mixture of different substances. So, we find that ink is uh, actually a mixture of a dye in water. So, uh, you can separate the volatile component solvent from its non volatile solute by evaporation ok. So, volatile component what is going to be volatile easily vaporizable. So, it can be separated from uh, non volatile solute is non volatile that means solute is not uh, vaporizing only the solvent gets vaporized. So, in that cases you can use the method of evaporation. Hope you understood uh, what is meant by evaporation. Now, how can you separate cream from milk? So, you know uh, nowadays uh, when you buy milk you get different types of milk full cream toned, double toned ok it is packed in uh, different types of packets and all that and it contains different varieties contain different amount of fat. Now, what you have got to do is you take some full cream milk in a full cream milk means it contains a maximum amount of fat you take it in a test tube then centrifuge it by using a machine for 2 minutes. So, if you do not have this then you can use it using a uh, milk churner or something in the kitchen and uh, or uh, in the milk dairies and all that uh, they have got this churner ok. Now, uh, what can you see by churning of milk? How does the separation of cream from milk take place? So, normally you see solid particles in a liquid they are very small and they pass through a filter paper. 
okay so if the particles pass through the filter paper then you cannot use the filtration technique because you know uh, the particle also will uh, go out of it so there is no particle remaining in the filter paper so you cannot use filtration for such cases so here you can use the method of centrifugation so what is the pet, uh, principle of centrifugation is the denser particles are forced to the bottom and the lighter particles stay at top uh, see when you churn uh, milk and all that you can see the cream okay as denser particles collecting at the top of the vessel okay normally what are the applications what is it used for it is used to uh, uh, you know in laboratories for blood and urine tests then uh, in diaries and home to separate butter from cream then it is also used in washing machine you can see that you know the drum is rotating fast in order to wash the water out of the wet clothes ok. Now let us see how you can separate a mixture of two immiscible liquids. Immiscible liquid means we see like kerosene from water uh, using a separating funnel. So, what you have got to do is you pour the mixture of kerosene oil and water in it. this is a separating funnel you can see that in the figure ok and you keep it uh, for some time see this is kerosene this is water this is a stop cock and when you open the stop cock you can see the bottom layer what is it it is water and in the middle we have got kerosene so you just keep on opening the stop cock and the water will uh, flow out till this level you keep on opening the stop cock and once it reaches the oil part you just stop it then how uh, you know, what are the applications of this uh, uh, process first one is you can separate mixture of oil and water then uh, it is very important used in the extraction of iron from its ore and the slag is removed from the top you learn that all in your 10th class so that is why I am not going into detail about the extraction of iron and all that. So uh, by this method uh, you can remove the lighter slag from the top and uh, molten iron will be remaining at the bottom of the furnace. So, the principle is that immiscible liquids separate out in layers based on their densities ok. And uh, in the next class we will learn how you can separate a mixture of salt and ammonium chloride and we have got a, a few more topics so that uh, we will finish off this lesson. Why I am uploading only little by little is that uh, you can revise uh, the portions slowly and uh, understand the concepts while do not simply uh, listen to it once or twice and then uh, say that uh, you understood the concepts well, uh, but you go through the topics concepts thoroughly and keep it in your mind. And uh, many subscribers or many people who are watching my uh, channel you are not uh, uh, subscribing to the channel without uh, subscribing you are watching the videos kindly do like share and subscribe to our channel amazing world of science and whatever doubts you have got uh, you can uh, put comments and uh, uh, your support is our strength. So, keep watching for uh, more videos I will be uploading uh, every week uh, whenever possible I will be uploading the lessons NCRT line by line for you and I hope uh, this session is use quite useful for you and uh, thanks for watching the video.